Hi guys, today we will learn how to set up the dangerous goods in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management or Finance and Operations. So whenever we are shipping the dangerous goods uh, from a manufacturing company, it goes outside into the shipment. We need to, you know, and we must provide the additional paperwork along with the shipments. So what is the definition of a dangerous goods? Anything which is explosive, flammable, toxic, corrosive, or hazardous. These are classified as dangerous goods. What are the examples of dangerous goods? It can be LPG cylinders, it can be flammable liquids, compressed air cylinders, etc. Some of the icons that you see on some of the shipments is may look like this, and they ident you can clearly identify the dangerous goods with these. So how do we set up these dangerous goods and provide that additional documentation inside D365 FinOps? These are the required configurations that we need to do. So first of all, we create a regulated product regional list. Then we add the regulated products into that regional list. For further, we go to the inventory, inventory and warehouse management parameters product compliance tab and set up some of the parameters in there. And we do some product compliance settings onto the product safety sheet. Uh, finally, onto the product, which is supposedly the dangerous good, we go and verify if all the setups have flown over to that. So let's go and see some of the screenshots here. So on this particular uh, product products regional list, we have created a new record for the country New Zealand. Uh, you see the regulated products button up here. Once you have created the record, you can go and create the regulated products, add the regulated products on here, just like this. So we have created a regulated product here. Uh, then these are the screenshots for the configurations that you need to do. And of course, these will depend on your organization's parameters on what are the settings required. And then you go and you know verify that the product safety sheet validity is defaulted onto the form. Further, you go to the dangerous good product on the release products form itself and go and check the compliance buttons. So we will go further and dig deeper into the demonstration and see how it works. So first of all, for this, after verifying all the setups, we will go and create the sales order. We will add the dangerous good item and we will post the packing slip. So the outcome required or expected from this is that the product data safety sheet will be produced along with the packing slip report. So let's go to the demo. So first of all, we will go to product information management system. We'll go to product compliance and regulated products regional list. So you can see that all the records related to the different uh, state inside a country or for different countries can be listed here. So right now we are in USMF company, the demo data company. Hence we are going to take the USA record in consideration. Then we click on the regulated products and verify or add the regulated product here. Some of the setups we have already done in the interest of time. Further to this, we will go to product information system again and click on uh, the product data safety sheet validity. So all these parameters are directly flowing from the inventory and warehouse parameters that we will show, but you can change it here if you want. Further, we will go to inventory and warehouse parameters. We'll go to the product compliance sheet. And these parameters can be set up here. These parameters are only for example here, you can set these up based on your organization requirements.
So let's go back to the released products now. The product that we have created as a dangerous code is A9900. In here we go to the compliance tab under manage inventory and we look at the regulated products form since we added this particular item in the regulated products list so all the records where it has been added the list it has been added will come and populate here so we can see that it has been added to United States and New Zealand as well as Australia further we go and click on the safety sheet in here you will create a new record and provide all the required details related to the product safety sheet and you go and add a new record as an attachment here which is your product safety sheet we have already attached a particular uh, product safety sheet sample document here in the PDF form you can attach it in any form that's about it so once this is done, all the required setups are done. Then we will go to sales order screen and create a new sales order. Click OK. We'll go on and add the line to the sales order. We'll add the dangerous good item here. Save it. So before we go any further, we can go and check if the product data safety sheet has come up and get gets attached here automatically. So we click on the inventory tab and safety sheet under product compliance. And we can see that the product data safety sheet record has come and attached itself to the sales order line with the attachment here, which is good. Now we can further go and confirm the sales order. The order is confirmed. Then we go perform the normal pick pack operations. So once the picking operations are completed, we can go ahead and post the packing slip. So you can notice under the compliance documents tab on the packing slip posting form, these two check boxes are automatically ticked. These are flowing from the product compliance tab on inventory and warehouse management. So the first one says prevent sales pick pack invoice posting operations. If the compliance is not achieved, the second is to print product data safety sheet. So that is what we wanted. We'll go ahead and click on OK. The system is expected to print the packing slip here as well as print the product data safety sheet, which will be downloaded because it is an attachment. The normal dialog box. So we see that the packing slip is printed on the screen as well as the product data safety sheet which is the attachment that we attached with the record is downloaded here as well. So we can open that here and can be printed as well. 